This is a demo of Micromusic. It's a new synthesizer sound reconstruction AI tool. It's totally free and it works with Vital. So I have a bunch of songs that I have queued up here that I want to show you it with. So first up we got Sad Machine. <laughs> I'm gonna take this sample and I'm just gonna drag it in. Oops. Micromusic says file uploaded. Then I'm gonna select my preset library, select folder, and I'm gonna to go to settings and I'm gonna turn this setting, how many choices do you want, up to 10. And that means that Micromusic is gonna give us 10 different presets that replicate the sound. And let's just hear what this sounds like. It's got kind of the idea there. So, but the beauty is that I can scroll through here. Ooh. I really like this one. And yeah, you can go and find the one you like because there's 10 independent predictions there. Now let's go and listen to animals. Now this is tougher, it's polyphonic, which actually Micromusic can totally do. And there's a little bit of like some claps in the background and there's some bass. So that's gonna make it a little bit difficult for Micromusic. In general, you want isolated and simple sounds. That, that's what it does best with. But I'm just gonna try it. So I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna press convert again. <clears throat> and now it's done, open it up. And now I have a MIDI here, so we can listen to it. Oops. Let's go through. I actually like this one. So let's keep playing. Now the beauty of Micromusic is that every single parameter predicted is independent of all the other parameters. Now what does that mean? That means that even if the sound is wrong because of two or three parameters, the other parameters are still likely to be correct. So in this case, I think it needs a little bit more release. So I'm gonna increase that here. Release. Maybe a little bit of compression. And now it's like really sounding lush. I mean, you can decide what you change with it, but the idea is that you have the freedom there after the prediction. Next up, we got an acoustic sound. This is a steel drum. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna plug it in, press convert, I'm gonna open, okay, thank you. I'm gonna open Vital. I'm going to open external preset, and this is the steel drum. So let's play it. Ooh. So let's go through here. I really like this one. And maybe I play something different. got the freedom you can go in and trigger whatever your notes whatever notes you like so then next let's do let's see here I'm feeling waiting for love let's plug it in now once again this is on the more challenging side because there is that like layered synth in the background other than just the lead my commute is gonna struggle with that a little bit so I'm going to plug it in. We're going to press convert. It's done. Now we're going to go and open it up in Vital. This is waiting for love. Actually, I like that first one the best. So. From there, I might add some, maybe I might add some saturation, I might add a bit more distortion, stuff that like really fills it out. 
um, because micro music only has like a couple effects that can it can predict, but it can't do like crazy effects, crazy you know envelopes yet. It's just a bass. Next we got Hourglass by Zed. Let's listen to this one. Perfect. This is pretty much just one synth other than the held chords, but I'm just going to drag it in. <laughs> then I'm going to press convert. I'm going to once again open vital. Ooh. I like this one. Now I'm going to go in and add that delay that, that he had. <clears throat> Let's set this to quarter notes. To turn up the mix. That now is kind of getting lush. So there you go. <clears throat> All right, so now let's go over some of the best practices of using Micromusic and where we'd use it over, say, Simplant. So Micromusic is best at simple sounds and sounds that might be polyphonic in nature, whereas a tool like Simplant is going to have, it has a much more complex parameter space. This means it could give you more complex sounding sounds, but it's less resistant to stuff like polyphonic notes, background noise, all that kind of stuff. The other advantage of Micromusic is that every parameter is independent of each other. And this is because the network has actually learned what like distortion actually sounds like. What does um, all these different like waveforms, how when are they used? Whereas Simplant, it seems like they are kind of trying different different um, settings and then checking is it lining up in the audio. So it's a little bit different of a tool there where you're going to just get different results. So with that in mind, yeah, I would recommend try out Micromusic. It's totally free and Vital's totally free. And yeah, if you want to do like dubstep growls and stuff like that, I don't think you're going to have a lot of luck here. You could probably want to go to Simplant. But if you're doing, say, like, you know, polyphonic plucks, you know, super saw leads, EDM sound, stuff like that, I think Micromusic is going to be great. So yeah, let me know what you think and head over to micromusic.tech. It's in the description and download it. Thank you.